Hey people, this is Ahmed Minao from Minao at YouTube and today we're going to talk about updates for Thailand reopening for tourism. And we're going to talk in particular about the Phuket Sandbox. Is it still on? Did they cancel it or it's still on and it's going to start in the 1st of July? And if it's going to start in the 1st of July, what are the good, what are the bad, what are the unknowns? Things that you have to know very well before deciding to come to Thailand on 1st of July and to take advantage of the Phuket Sandbox, which looks very attractive on paper, but of course there's a lot of things you need to know guys in this very short video. So let's start the video. So first of all, let's know what is the Phuket Sandbox. The Phuket Sandbox is something like an experiment or a test that the Ministry of Tourism here in Thailand is going to use to know whether it's a good idea to allow tourists to come back to Thailand at the moment. So tourists are allowed to come back to Thailand at the moment, but there's a lot of restriction. So what the Phuket Sandbox is trying to do? The Phuket Sandbox is trying to allow tourists who are fully vaccinated to come to Thailand and with minimal re restrictions. There is restriction but very little of them. So they want to make sure, is it going to affect their people? Is it going to affect, affect the local population? Most of the local population here in Thailand at the moment, talking about June 2021, they're not vaccinated. So very little of them are vaccinated. So what the government is trying to do, they're trying to vaccinate as much as many of the people that are living in Phuket, especially the ones working in the tourism industry. So they see, is it okay for vaccinated tourists to come to Thailand? Will it affect the local population? And of course, to, to boost the, uh, uh, the economy. So Thai economy relies a lot on tourism. So this test is very important for them so they know that Will we be able to revive tourism again in Thailand, especially starting from Phuket, which is one of the most attractive places for tourism here in Thailand? So now you know what is the Phuket Sandbox. Let's go in now. What are the good, the bad, and the unknown? So first of all, let's talk about the good here. The good is that the Phuket Sandbox is still on. It wasn't cancelled. So on 1st of July 2021, the Phuket Sandbox is supposed to start. So that's very good news because a lot of people were very optimistic because they didn't want to come to Thailand and spend a lot of money on quarantine, spend a lot of time of their holiday in quarantine for 14 nights. That's really crazy. So the Phuket Sandbox is really positive for a lot of tourists who are willing to come because they're vaccinated and they don't want to be in quarantine or a lot of restrictions on them. So that's the good news. It's still on. It wasn't cancelled even though there is a rise in the number of COVID-19 positive cases, but it's still on. People are allowed to come and it's going to be fine. So what are the requirements here? You have to stay in Phuket. Of course, you have to have a direct flight from your country to Phuket. Usually, you're going to most probably you're going to use the Thai airline so you're going to land directly in Phuket you have to spend there seven nights at least that's something for sure you have to go there with a negative test and of course after the fifth day of being there in Phuket you have to of course test again and have a negative test and you're going to pay for every all of this by the way the ticket the test everything you're going to pay from your own pocket so that is the good news. It's gonna happen and it's gonna be smooth after seven nights. You can, the eighth day, you can just get out of Phuket if you want to go to another place or another part of Thailand, as long as you're negative and you don't have any COVID-19. But this is only for vaccinated tourists, people who are vaccinated, um, tourists who are vaccinated, they can get this opportunity to go directly to Phuket and be totally free. If you're not vaccinated, you'll have to opt for the old deal where you have to go and spend two weeks which is 14 nights in a state quarantine and we've spent a lot of money on that. So that is the good news, it's still on. What is the bad news? The bad news is that there's a rise and a spike of cases of COVID-19 here in Thailand at the moment. Every day there is like 2,000, 3,000 plus positive cases of COVID-19, 30, 35 cases of death every day, which is a very, very bad thing in Thailand because in Thailand they had dealt with this COVID-19 very, very well in the first and second wave, but this third wave seems to be very, very hard to control. It's been going on for over a month and a half and still not yet under control and always there's clusters happening here and there. So you might ask yourself, what has that got to do with you? You're vaccinated, you will be safe. Yeah, that has nothing, to, uh, has nothing to do with you directly. Yeah, that's true. But most of the public uh, here in Thailand or the local people here in Thailand are afraid of tourists, are afraid of foreigners. 
they're afraid that if they allow foreigners and tourists to come in at the moment, maybe they might cause more problems and more harm than positive. Yes, there's a lot of money which will come from tourists, but at the same time, maybe some things can come and they can lose totally the control over the COVID-19 cases here in Thailand. So they're afraid of that. And because of that, the Ministry of Tourism is, there's some rumors, it's not for sure, they say they might postpone it for two or three weeks in towards the end of July to see if it's better at the time, the control of the COVID-19 cases is better at the time and the Thai public will be okay with you allowing tourists to come back in Thailand again. But on May the 30th, the Ministry of Tourism made a press release and said that they're still sticking to the plan that on 1st July they're going to actually stand the, start the Phuket Sandbox and that's not going to change whatsoever. So yeah, for now everything is okay, but as all of us know who live here in Thailand, that according to this emergency decree that started during the beginning of the pandemic, these things can change at any moment. Actually, it can change within hours. So if, if they say that there is okay, a law and they can allow tourists to come in on 1st July, that can change even on, let's say, 30th of June. And it's not going to make any difference for the government here because they have the power to do that. So yeah, guys, that's the bad news. And I know it's really not nice not to know exactly what's going to happen, especially that you might spend already money buying the ticket and booking hotels. But yeah, that's the situation at the moment. So the unknown, and the unknown is actually a big problem because these are the most important things for any tourist who wants to come to Thailand. So the unknown, what do I mean by the unknown? The unknown is the restrictions. So at the moment there's a lot of restrictions in Phuket because of the rise of cases of COVID-19. Will this restriction be removed when tourists are allowed to come back? It's unknown. So if they take control over the COVID-19 cases and there's no longer a lot of people getting COVID-19 in Phuket, of course these restriction, restrictions are going to be removed. So like what are these restrictions? Restaurants, many of them are not allowing people to dine in, so you have to take your food home. Parks, a lot of them are closed. Nightlife is almost dead. It's dead actually in a way. Bars are not allowed to be open. Sale of alcohol is very restricted. There's certain times only you can buy and it's very restricted from some places only you can get. You cannot drink in public or something like that. Um, hotels, a lot of them are shut down because they're not, they, they cannot actually open up because there is no tourist, tourist whatsoever. Um, places for massage, a lot of things that tourists are really looking forward to when they come to Thailand and in Phuket in particular you will not be allowed to do it if you come now in June. But if you're coming in July, maybe things are going to change. So these are the unknown. Should people who are vaccinated, who are sort of vaccinated, should they put masks? Are they allowed to be in groups together? These are all unknown. The government didn't say anything here in Thailand whether for Phuket, whether the tours who are in Phuket will be totally free to do whatever they want or they will have to follow the restrictions that are imposed on the even non-vaccinated people in Thailand. So these are the unknown. So there is still a lot to be known at the moment and a lot to be announced. And I'm going to update you, I promise I'll update you before the end of June and let you know if anything has changed. So that's it for this short video. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of updates about what's happening in Thailand. And also, uh, please comment down below in case I forgot to mention something. Thank you very much for watching.